text network analysis can be used to identify the structure of discourse in order to see how biased it is or how many different points of view it represents. I'm going to show you how it works using the example of Cambridge Analytica article. So here we have the first statement from Facebook that was made on the subject. We can see that the discourse policy singularity score here is diversified and that means that there are several topics identified in this text which are all given proper attention so they communicate a certain range of perspectives on the situation that occurred. If we look at the response from Cambridge Analytica we will see that the discourse policy singularity is also diversified so that means that there are several different perspectives offered inside the text and none of them overtakes the other. Later, if we analyze the Guardian article, we will see that discourse policy singularity score in this case is focused. That usually means that while there are several different points of view present in this discourse, and we can see them here if we click on the different topics, there is one particular topic that overtakes the others in terms of its influence in the text. So that means that the text is focused and it's offering a certain opinion on the situation while also informing people about different points of view. Another interesting example is to look at the Google search results on the search terms Cambridge Analytica Facebook. We will see that in this case discourse policy singularity score is biased and that means that there is one topic, one cluster of nodes which overtakes the whole network. So that means that the whole discourse is sort of rotating around those terms and uh, it doesn't really leave space for other perspectives in this text. So if we look at Google search results, we will see that most of the search results are talking about data scandal, not pointing so much attention to other perspectives that exist in the situation.